For being an organism without a brain, SpongeBob is a lot wiser than most would give him credit for. Hey all you spongelings, it's SpongeBob Miscellaneous, and you're watching Top 10 SpongeBob Speeches. I can't accept that yet, ma'am. First I have to make my speech. Number 10. It's too bad they're old. What do you mean, Patrick? Old people are the greatest. They're full of wisdom and experience. The world needs Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Someone, somewhere is in trouble. And I won't rest until Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are out of retirement. Ooh, pretty light. Number nine. That is the meanest thing I ever saw, Bubble Bass. You, sir, have crossed the line of aquatic decency. You may think you took a couple of bottom feeders for a ride today, but I have got a newsflash for you, Slappy. These bottom feeders wouldn't eat your free lunch if you paid us! I would. Number eight. I speak a little bit, sir. I know what they're saying. They're saying, owners, 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 owners. Please, 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 please don't be this way. They're saying they don't want this type of pampering. They want to be treated as companions, not dress-up dolls. They don't want scratchy outfits. They want to be scratched. They are protesting the indignity of wigs and jewel-encrusted collars. And they want to be free from superficial and degrading pageants like these. <laughs> Number seven. What kind of monsters are we? That poor creature came to us in his hour of need, and we failed him. Squidward's always been there for us when it was convenient for him. Evelyn, when your little Jimmy was trapped in a fire, who rescued him? A fireman? And Larry, when your heart gave out from all those canning pills, who revived you? Some guy in an ambulance. Right! So if we all could just pretend that Squidward was a fireman or some guy in an ambulance, then I'm sure we could all pull together and discover what it truly means to be in a marching band. Yeah, for the firemen! Yeah! Yeah! Now let's make Squidward proud. <laughs> Number six. Patrick Starr is innocent. I have come here to reveal the truth. They say that truth and honesty bum, will be rewarded bum, with trust bum, and forgiveness. Bum, I'm here to bum, lay my cards on the table, bum, to trim the branches bum, of deception bum, from the tree of life, bum, to shave away the unkempt sideburns bum, from the face bum, of truth. I oh, just get on with it! I am the one who threw the peanut. I know now that what I have done is wrong. And so I say, I am sorry, giant performing oyster. I am sorry, Patrick. I am sorry, citizens of Bikini Bottom. Number five. Fret not, my friend, for I have learned the truth. It matters not whether one is dirty or clean, for can cleanliness exist without filthiness? And would we know filthiness without cleanliness? We must not reenact the history that divides us. Rather, we must embrace that which draws us together. All must be free to choose their own path. Right, friend Patrick? Squeaky clean! Squeaky and squeaky. Mm -hmm. He has embraced the truth. Number four! Was it worth it? No. No, it wasn't. What started out as a fun dream turned into a horrible, brutal nightmare. As the winds of time changed the silvery sands of these dunes to a new landscape, so let us hope that our own winds of change will change our spiritual dunes to a landscape of peace. Oh, buddy, let's never forget this lesson. Number three. Classmates, who am I to deserve such a great honor? Why, I would be nothing without Mrs. Puff. Give me a break. And to my public, all I can say is I'm touched. And furthermore, I will carry out my duty. Crime and punishment. Punishment and crime. And the hall! Which reminds me of an extremely long speech written by the greatest hall monitor of all time. Friends, students, juvenile delinquents, lend me your ear. In conclusion, and without a moment to spare, I will put on this uniform and assume my duties as... Hall Monitor! Wish me luck, Mrs. Puff. 
Number two. Look at me. Why, I've become like all of you. Savage. Fear-ridden. Selfish. An entire town of formerly good citizens turned into heartless freaks. <laughs> bent on their own self-preterish... Self Preservation? Yes! We've become alienated from each other. Each one an island unto himself, concerned only with ourselves. And in the name of all fishhood, I am not about to let that happen. And so, if a sacrifice is needed to restore Bikini Bottom to its former glory, then I am willing to take one for the team. And before we reveal number one, it's time for our honorable mentions. Oh, crusty crab, you've always been there for me. When I'm tired and hungry, I just reach out my hand. And there you are, with a Krabby Patty that's all so hot and juicy. Are you with me, people? No! No! It is not over! Huh? This was supposed to be my perfect day. But then, everything shut down! And everything turned to doo-doo. And that's how I got this black eye. By giving Jack and Crazy Fish the whopping of a lifetime! Woo! Football! Wow! Frog cool. Thank you, good people of Bikini Gulch. The statue is truly amazing. Maybe a little too heavy in the hind quarters, but still. If I ever have a great, 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 great grandson, I would want him to look at this statue and say, Hey, I'm proud of my great, 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 great grandfather. Aww. Do not cheer me, my fellow adult classmates. Flats was the real victim here. A victim of a society that's riding down a violent road to nowhere. A road I call Violence Road. Krusty Krab is unfair! Mr. Krabs is in there, standing at the concession, plotting his oppression! You can pick on me, but Squidward is a great leader! We are Workers United! We're tired of your smelly greed, and we're gonna saw your tables, and we're gonna smash stuff with a people's hammer, and we're gonna... We're gonna... The, Squidward, what was that other part? I will restore the working man to his rightful glory! I will dismantle this oppressive establishment board by board! I will saw the tables of tyranny in half! Gnaw at the ankles of big business! Squidward will be so proud! Boating safety is the responsibility of every boater in the whole ocean. Each boater must follow the rules and regulations stipulated in the Boater Safety Handbook. Learn the meaning of all boats at time and the speed limits. Pay attention to one surrounding rule. Red means no parking. Obey authority figures. Respect the rights of pedestrians. And we'll learn when to guide yourself with all shades of curve. Remember, a motor vehicle is 2,000 pounds of dial line. Spongelings, you waited this long. Get ready for number one. Of course I'm right. Okay, Neptune, time to kill. And you know, I've been through a lot in the past six days, five minutes, 27 and a half seconds. And if I've learned anything during that time, it's that you are who you are. That's right. Okay, Neptune. And no amount of mermaid magic or managerial promotion or some other third thing can make me anything more than what I really am inside. A kid. That's great. Now get back against the wall. But that's okay! Right, what's going on? Cause I did what everyone said a kid couldn't do! I made it to Shell City, and I beat the Cyclops, and I rode the Hasselhoff, and I brought the crown back! Alright, we get the point. So yeah, I'm a kid, and I'm also a goofball, and a wingnut, and a knucklehead next Spazatron! <laughs> What's going on here? But most of all, I'm... Hey, settle down. I'm... Take it easy. I'm... What the scallop? I'm Goofy Gooba! SpongeBob has given a lot more speeches than I actually realized until I went to make this video. Like, why does this boy talk so much and so confidently? We should envy that. Everything about that. SpongeBob, 
He's got a lot to say, even though he ain't saying much. Anyway, subscribe to SpongeBob Miscellaneous. It's a great time here. We do weird SpongeBob things too.